This week, we are happy to get our mind off all the stuff going on. Yes. Uh, to talk about Halloween coming up. Mm -hmm. And so to do it, we're looking at sites around the Tri-Cities that are rumored to have a past filled with some paranormal activity. Yeah, this is so much fun. Tonight, Ashley Sharp shares some of the ghostly tales regarding the Tipton Haynes historic site in Johnson City. Right now, it's Halloween at Tennessee's most historic site, but year-round, ghosts of former owners inhabit Tipton Haynes. It is a mid-1800s cabin that was a white family's farmhouse back then. Today, we interpret it as the George Haynes slave cabin. Uh, George Haynes was one of the male slaves that lived here and was owned by Landon Carter Haynes. Paranormal investigators have made contact with ghosts here, heard strange noises, a group of people even all reporting, hearing a loud scream. One of the tools that the paranormal team uses uh, reads electromagnetic fields uh, and it gets set off in this cabin all the time even though there's no electricity. A medium visiting the cabin was spooked at the doorstep when she encountered three spirits. She said they were all three talking over each other and they, she said they rushed down from the, from the stairs all three together and met her at the doorway and she wouldn't enter anymore. But it's the main house where most of the ghost activity happens. The property was first settled by Colonel John Tipton in 1784. Pretty much what you see today is what the Haynes family lived in in the 1840s and 1850s. It's looking over his shoulder that's become second nature for co-director Wes Spurgeon. Out of the corner of your eye, you'll see somebody walk behind you, or through a window, you'll see what looked like to be a shadow figure walk by the window. People in period clothing of the mid-1800s that have been seen walking on the back porch. Also, there's been voices uh, throughout the house that have been heard before. Ghosts of the Tipton, Haynes, and Simmerly families have all been contacted in the house where they once lived. There's actually been multiple visitors uh, on multiple occasions that have said they have saw a lady in a white dress walking in this hallway here. Uh, there's been many a times where you've been on the first floor and have heard footsteps on the second floor. And in the cellar, paranormal investigators believe they contacted ghosts of slaves once held here. A lot of the activity that we get down here uh, seems to be more playful and shy, so we believe that might be a kids down here. For the historic site, the ghosts aren't scary. In fact, they're part of drawing a connection to a different time. I, I feel like they're still living here and it's still their property. That was Ashley Sharp reporting, and you can read more about claims of the supernatural all around the Tri-Cities and across Tennessee. Yeah, just log on to WJHL.com and click on the Haunted Tri-Cities section if you dare. <laughs>